Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Smart Bird Feeder camera. A very special bird feeder camera, I would say. It has a lot of things which are unique, like the wide angle, three solar panels which are charging the battery of this camera, and an app with free cloud storage which you can also use for your surveillance cameras and much, much more. So I'm going to show you what's in the box, how to assemble, how to connect to the app, and then going to show you the settings and a lot of footage. And so here we have the box with some specifications here on the side, even model type, that's Q8 QR code, support information, and so more information about the AI bird recognition but now let's open the box and see what we get so everything comes nicely protected inside okay so here we have everything comes also with this instructions manual it has 23 pages shows everything in detail definitely too much to show you everything here so i would say everything looks really good uh, very solid designed also good build it comes with the main part, with the bird stand, with solar, with the charging cable, very long charging cable, also for the solar panel, then the extra mount, even a screwdriver and screws to mount and even an external antenna. So from what I can see here, three huge advantages compared to a lot of other models first thing is that this thing doesn't collect any water i've seen some other models which have some trays underneath and then it's collecting water here are some nice openings which work as drainage and here no problem anyway the second huge advantage is that we have an external antenna. Some of these bird feeders are struggling with the wireless range. And so such an antenna can definitely help. And then I would say the biggest advantage of this bird feeder, it has three different solar panels. We have one on this side, one on this side, and even an external one, which you can point to any direction or even mount in a total different place with this long cable and so if you're planning to buy a bird feeder for a location which doesn't have a lot of sun that's the bird feeder for you everything here is a little bit tight but that's a good thing so the animals don't have a lot of space to cause some damage and we can still turn it up and down of course we have to uh, point it a little bit down to have access to everything that's much easier for the setup here we can turn it on here we have a reset and here we have the opening for the micro sd card i highly recommend to use at least 32 gigabyte good quality good brand micro sd card with fast speed and so we turn the pins to the back push it here inside so it has a safe hold if you want to release it we have to push it down again and here we have the on off we have the reset and we have the charging port which we usually use for the solar but for an initial charge we can also use this extra charging cable what's also really nice here that we have a safe lock for the feeder opening so we can just release it here put it a little bit to the front and then we have easy access to put the bird food inside and we can easily close it again so it's still very easy to open and close but also very secure so i think it's very unlikely that squills can open that and so we add the external antenna here in the back point it upwards or you can also change the direction based on your needs and here's the connection to the extra solar panel if you need that i mean if you don't need that you can leave it closed there's already quite some decent solar panel size but it's an awesome thing to have this extra panel and they are charging all at the same time so you don't have to decide for either this power or this power so you have power from all the three panels yeah definitely absolutely fantastic everything looks really good solid build very easy to mount by the way it comes also with this strap if you have like a small tree or so you can also use this one here to mount you can just slide this belt through the openings here 
and then we add the bird tray from underneath we just push it here just make sure that everything is properly aligned here i think now it's okay the only screws which we need for sure are these three small screws here which we have to use here to secure the bird stand and again we get even the screwdriver for that so we can do that in just a couple of seconds and now we secure this to a tree or post or wall and then we put the bird feeder on top of it and secure it with this screw so this is how this works so you can see we have still plenty of space here in the back to adjust the antenna or connect the solar panel really good design i would say and then we download and install the Vico Home from the official Play Store or Apple Store. I have it already and that's also an awesome advantage. I almost forgot to tell you that because the Vico Home is not a proprietary app. It supports a lot of security cameras. So with this system, you can control your security cameras and the bird feeder from the same app and enjoy the footage from the same app also something which i like of course we get the maximum free cloud space only once and we have to share them among the different security cameras and the bird feeder but it's usually no problem as you can see i have a lot of footage usually we can store them for one week one week free rolling cloud at least this is what i have for my security cameras and i heard it's same or similar for this bird feeder so it's very easy to add this from the home screen so we just click on the plus add new device battery device and now of course we have to turn it on with a long press and then it shows this blue blinking light yeah, and we definitely heard the sounds we click on next step it's searching for activated devices and it has already found this bird feeder yeah this is as easy as it gets just click on it and then we provide the router password of course it's only possible to choose the 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi and during the connection process it's also highly recommended to be on the same 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi network also connected with your phone so i've selected the wi-fi and apply the password by the way you can usually also use combined networks so we click on confirm and so we have to connect to this temporary wi-fi network click on got it we go to the wireless settings and so we have to choose this ipc wi-fi here and so let's see if it's connecting connection succeeded okay that was super fast super easy and we didn't even have to use qr code or so was even easier than that yeah and so we give it a name and confirm there's a little bit of information you can read everything and confirm we click on finish now let's refresh here so let's click on live view yeah you can see that here really nice good quality wide angles so i'm going to mount it outside and then show you some live footage and so I've been installing the bird feeder outside. You can see I haven't fully tightened the screw underneath so I can move the bird feeder uh, left to right and also easier to fill it up with food. You can see here in the back with this uh, bracket. Yeah, everything was really super easy to mount. And uh, yeah, here I have a little bit of handicap, of course, because of the solar panel on the side. But apart from that, it's very easy. And when you mount it on a normal tree or on a wall, then it's much easier to turn. Here you can also see where I've placed the additional solar panel. You can see the white cable here going to the left side and along these uh, lights and to this side where I have much more direct sunlight than in this place. So this is going to be awesome regarding the power and you can see it's also easy to fill especially when you can turn the bird feeder to the side here it's a little bit difficult for me but usually when you can turn it to the side maybe 90 degrees you can open that fill it up and close it again no screws no special tools needed absolutely awesome and so here we are and by the way i'm recording from my windows 11 system so you can see you can also run this app on a windows computer when you're using an android emulation that's also very good that's not possible with all such bird feeder apps or surveillance camera apps but with this one it's possible so we can go to live view for example 
and we can increase the size to full screen and when we click here you can see what options we have you can set it to sd when you have slow internet but here in this case i'm using hd and the quality is really good of course there's some barrel distortion you can see but this is because the camera has a super wide angle the widest angle of any bird feeder camera which i've ever seen so you are not going to miss anything not on the right side not on the left side this is pretty amazing and what we can do we can start recording directly from here if we see something then it's safe to albums or we can shoot an image if we see something we can also turn on the microphone so we can hear something or we could even talk to some people or of course to the birds or to the squirrels when you're pushing this button then you can press to speak so at the moment no birds or squirrels are showing up usually they like the peanuts so let's move out here we have also some options here here we have also an audible alarm which can emit to chase away some animals but i've tested that and it didn't work i mean it has nothing to do with this bird feeder it didn't work with any of the bird feeders i have tested maybe it works for one time then the animals get used to that so it doesn't really help and here we have the settings you can see we have 99 percent battery so it's charging really nicely and so here we have the motion detection that's really important to turn it on here i have set the detection sensitivity to low but we have different possibilities i had a little bit too many false alerts because of the reflection in the window and from the tree and so with low now it's perfect we can also set some cooldown uh, time if you have too many alerts and we can set also the duration and now it looks like there's something going on i got notification from another camera you can also set how it's recording then we have the notification settings you can turn them off or on to get some notification and if you want to get this ai detection you have to subscribe to Vico home awareness you can click here and then we have a lot of options regarding cloud recording intelligent notification activity zone and of course also this ai bird detection you can click here and buy but unfortunately there is no free option no trial so i didn't do that and i can't show you that but i've seen that with some other bird feeders and usually it works pretty good so let's go back we have a one week free rolling cloud included here but we have also the sd card video which of course is a little bit slower but we can click on that and then we have everything what's recorded these can be things which have been recorded weeks ago months ago or even years ago because nothing is going to delete it it's your micro sd card and if it's large enough then you can keep everything so you have also seen how the recording is during the night I didn't have any animals during the night but somebody entered the home through the door here and so you can see that it works also perfectly as a surveillance camera or for other animals or so of course no ai detection for that but it works like a normal surveillance camera for all other animals or intruders if you point it towards your door or your home that's also something really nice you can see everything also here on the micro sd card then we have some sleep settings for example if you don't want the camera to record when you're at home then we have the sd card management always a good thing to format it at the beginning when you insert a new micro sd card lighting settings especially for the night night vision and auto power on settings and audio settings and some advanced setting maybe important to know that you can rotate the image but of course nobody is going to mount the bird feeder upside down but you could technically use this camera also without the bird feeder so i guess this bird is looking for some food usually they are here on the roof and now we have it live you can see that absolutely awesome uh, picking a peanut and leaving and so we can go either to the library which is the recording for all the cameras not only this camera but for all the cameras which you have added to this app or we can click here where we have only the notifications for this camera for this bird feeder and so when we refresh we can see we can click and we have the bird here can also make this larger 
works even better on the phone. But you can see a really nice footage, nice details, a lot of birds. But you can see it also picked me up when I was filling up the tray of the bird feeder. But of course, with the AI detection, you won't have these things. So I really love how easy this is to use and especially that we can use this app where I can add also all the security cameras and the quality of the footage is really good. It has even the night vision for good night recording if you have some animals during the night or if you want to use it as a surveillance camera. We get even the free one week cloud. And the bird feeder itself is a really nice construction. Everything awesome, well made, the tray, the feeder opening and the three solar panels are definitely the highlight of this bird feeder. So you will never have to be worried about not having enough power on this bird feeder. Yeah, I would say awesome thing for you, for your family, maybe even as a gift for your friends or relatives. So I can highly recommend it. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.